Dear students, good morning and welcome to this new session of animal breeding and genetics. So today we are starting a new chapter. Briefly, we shall review objectives of animal breeding and genetics. But before, let's start with important definitions needed to understand this chapter. Improving livestock farming means to be able to provide environmental and management conditions favorable to increasing production and productivity. To improve a phenotype is all about improving environmental conditions and the genotype. Now, more specifically, improving a genotype means operating a favorable condition of genes. Okay, now, let's now review uh, some of the traits to be improved in animal breeding and genetic. They can be categorized based on the criteria that are considered. Now, according to measurements, perception or appreciation, there are two categories of traits to be improved. You have qualitative traits that are then the traits of sensorial ones. And then quantitative trade that can be measurable and also can be analyzed statistically. Okay. According to productivity and adaptability, you have two main categories of trade. We have functional traits that deal with adaptation and resilience, and then we have productivity traits that deals with the uh, quality of product, quantity of products, like the life weight and carcass yield to just name a few. Fine. Now, let's now go uh, through the main steps of animal breeding and genetics. First of all, it is important to define the production system and the goals. Now, once the production system is well defined, we will go deep into details. From one step to the other breeding goals are to be specified then the collection of information about the phenotype family relationship and genotype moving on to determining now a selection criteria that is concerned with the genetic model and the breeding value estimation fine once the breeding value estimation is define and determine candidate for selection are now ranked and the method of genetic improvement either to selection of mating decided upon fine once this is done the genetic improvement program is carried on and the product from the selection or mating disseminated At the end of the day, the results of the world program are being evaluated and analyzed to give new orientation to the next step of the program, either to continue with what is set or to revise it in view of improving it. Now, let's start this session with the first steps including the definition of the production system and the definition of breeding goals what is a breeding objective the breeding objective is concerned with the list of the threat to be improved let note that this breeding objective must be in accordance with national objectives and development goals they must be appropriate to the production system, context and culture, and they must be based on breeds that are adapted to production systems for which it is established. Now, for this chapter, we shall focus on traits of economical importance. These are threats that 
are concerned with productivity, longevity, health, and production, just to name the major one. So, as you know, dear students, it may not be appropriate, for example, to select an animal species or breed that is not adapted to a particular local condition, or if the product that is the objective for the selection is not consumed, maybe because of religious taboo or cultural taboos, and so on and so forth. So dear students, we are going to stop here for now, and thanks for watching, and see you very soon for the next step that will consider the gathering of genetic information prior to the program.